Hi and welcome to Swedish Plant Guys. In this video we're going to go through a very common phrase that we use in the plant business and that is let the plant dry out. Now what does that mean? How much should it dry out? Why does it have to dry out? Now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up that really helps this channel a lot. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do hit the bell as well so you get a notification every time we put up something new. And as always, please like us on Facebook and Instagram to get sneak previews on upcoming videos and sometimes a little bit extra. So one of the most common phrases we use in this business, the plant business, is let your plant dry out. And usually it's a concerning indoor plants, tropical plants, and most of them likes to dry out. But why is that? And what is drying out? There is a big misconception concerning this phrase because doesn't plants love water? Yes, they do. They love water. They need water. It is a necessity for the plant to survive. It needs that water to be able to photosynthesize, to be able to create those sugars and starches to survive and create that food. It also needs that water because the water is actually the transport system in the entire plant. It's the way it moves ju not just water but nutrients inside of the plant. And also it is a way to control temperature because it doesn't have any other way than with water to, to be able to keep it cool when it's really, really hot, for instance. So it really needs water. Then why are we talking about let the plant dry out? Because doesn't that create a lot of problems for the plant? One of the most common questions we get is how much should I water my plant? How much water should I give this specific plant? And that is actually impossible to answer because there are so many variables concerning watering that I cannot give you the exact amount of water. You have so many variables. One of the variables is what type of plant are you, are you having in your home? Is it a ficus or is it a cc plant for instance? Big big difference. If we look at the plant itself, how big is the plant? That also impacts how much water it will drink. Another thing is what potting medium are you using? Are you using normal standard soil? Have you mixed that up with something? Uh, does your soil have good drainage? Now we have a video on good drainage to so you can go and check that out after you watch this. But there are a lot of other things as well. What kind of light do you have in your home? Where have you placed your plant? Um, what temperature do you have indoors in your home? What type of humidity do you have? And lastly, but not least, what season are you in? Because in wintertime, most tropical plants actually go dormant, which also affects the amount of water that it, that it drinks. Now we have a video on plant dormancy as well, so you can go and check that out. And as I said before, the size of the plant, but of course also the size of the pot. How big is your pot? How much of that potting medium do you have around the roots as well? This has a massive impact on how much water you will give your plant. And also, if we move over to what then what does that mean just letting your plant dry out and how do we perform that how do we make it dry out and how much should it dry out well first of all we need to consider what is it that we're trying to accomplish what does what is happening when we're letting our plants dry out well if when we water our plants what happens is that the potting medium that you have let's just say that it's normal standard potting soil. That will absorb a lot of water when you water your plant. What it's actually doing when you're watering it is that it's pushing out a lot of the air, which also means that it's pushing out the oxygen for the roots. 
And if you have a soil that absorbs a lot of water, it's actually pushing out all of the air or the oxygen for the roots. So what we're talking about here is actually the balance between water and oxygen in your pot. And this is one of the biggest things concerning indoor plants that we need to consider, that we need to check and keep an eye on at all times. So what happens then when we let the pot dry out? Well, as that water is getting absorbed by the roots, it's getting, it starts to evaporate from the pot, it leaves the pot. What actually happens is when that water disappears, it gets replaced by air, which also means it gets replaced by oxygen. So we have that balance all the time. When we add a lot of water, we get a lot of water and not as much oxygen. But as that water starts to disappear, we actually get more and more oxygen for the roots. And this is why we say, let the plant dry out. Because as that water disappears, we actually are feeding the roots with oxygen. And we need that balance. But as I said before, if we give too much water, we have no oxygen. But if we let it dry out too much, what happens then is that we get too much air around the roots. And when those roots start to dry out and you get too much air around them, they actually could stop working. So when we say let it dry out in between watering, we do not mean that you want it to be bone dry. There are a couple of plants that actually can handle this and can thrive by having a bone dry soil around the roots. But most plants just want it to dry out a little bit in between watering. And that is because we need that balance of water and oxygen at all times. So how do we achieve that? What do we do to know that you have that balance? Well, if you have a plant, let's say like this ficus here, a ficus, most ficus plants likes to dry out a little bit, but they do not want to be bone dry because those roots will get damaged if they get too dry and they will just stop working. And when you add water again, a lot of the roots have died. But what you can do with, for instance, with a ficus that needs to dry out a little bit in between watering is that just use your finger. Your fingers are extremely sensitive to moisture. So just by feeling the top of the soil like this, when you feel that the top soil here is dry, then you know, okay, my for my ficus, it's time to give it some water again. But if you have a plant that wants to dry out a little bit more in between waterings, we could, for instance, have this epipremnum or pothos here. Uh, it likes to dry out a little bit more in between waterings. It actually triggers it to grow a little bit more. What we do then is that we push down our finger into the soil. We actually feel the soil about two and a half centimeters or an inch down into the soil. If you can feel about an inch down and you feel that it is dry, then you know it's time to water again. But then we have some plants that really likes to dry out. For instance, we have the CC plant. The CC plant is one of those plants that actually can get bone dry before you have to water it again. And that is because it stores water inside of the stems and in the tubers that are in the soil here. Uh, what we do with this one is that you just try and feel as further down as you can into the soil. At least two inches down or five centimeters down. If you feel that it's completely dry, then you know it's time to water again. So like you see, this is completely depending on what type of a plant you have. But if it says, let it dry out a little bit, you know that you can feel the on top of the soil. If it says, let it dry out 
in between waterings, then you know you have to feel it a bit further down into the soil. And if it says, let it dry out completely, then you need to feel at least two inches down into the soil. It doesn't mean that it has to be completely dry. It just means that it wants to dry out a lot before you give it again. And when you give that water again, you're raising the water, you're pushing out a lot of that oxygen, and then as the water is drinking, it's evaporating, you get that oxygen. So you need that balance all the time. So now I hope that you know a little bit more what we mean when we say, let it dry out in between waterings. It is that balance that we're after all the time, water and oxygen. Now, if you've liked this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps our channel a lot. Please subscribe to our channel to know every time we put up something new, just hit that bell as well. And of course, like us on Facebook and Instagram, where you can get sneak previews on upcoming videos and sometimes a little bit extra. So until next time, hi